Randall out there with Anthony Davis. Then it's Russell. And it's LeBron James. And it's Reeves in at the shooting guard. And for the Suns, Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Andre Ayton out there with Durant. And it's a Kogi in at the three -star. Here's Reeves. There's the pass to Russell. I can sink. Over Paul. And it's Russell missing. And so Booker would bring it up for Phoenix. Ayton against Vanderbilt. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. I, I just admire the instincts that Aiden has. Seems to know exactly where to be when the shot goes up. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the Suns here with a different look. Baisley's checked in for Durant. T.J. Warren comes in for Josh Okogie. Terrence Ross is checked in for Booker. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. One shot. You know, so much hype around Aiden has that rare combination of NBA ready body, productivity, and upside. Schroeder looking around. Releases. No good on the last second attempt there. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Suns lead by three. We've got more in store for you right after this. And we're back courtside at game seven as this series comes to a head. And from what we've seen, guys, from the Suns, uh, what are you thinking so far? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks. Great stuff. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Jared Vanderbilt out there with LeBron James. Then it's Anthony Davis. And there's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reeves in at the two. Now, here is Russell following the shot by Chris Paul and James gets it to go the minute that man walks into the gym LeBron James is in his range here's Paul outside Durant lets it go from deep and it's Anthony Davis with the rebound and here are the Lakers corner it's James Phoenix grabs the miss they come into this one after losing on Sunday a bad outing offensively you, you break that game down their issues were pretty clear won't win games in this league with an offensive night like that they've got some things to figure out and some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime Suns ahead up one We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're sitting there. only three of us. Went, and, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. And guys, for the Suns, they're one half away from finally moving on in this series. The pressure of Game 7 may be weighing heavily on them, and they've still got their work cut out in the second half, but they're in a pretty good position. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Suns? This is what the home fan loves to see. Their squad coming out and putting together strong performance. We'll see a couple individual standouts, but what really stand out is how hard they work and how they're playing together. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. With how they're shooting, it's a miracle they're still in this game. There's still a whole half left to play. 
We need to stop wasting shots and get serious about finding quality looks. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. We're back at the Western Conference Finals. Happy to have you with us here on 2K Sports. Here's Paul. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. Duran is out there with Ayton. And it's a Kogi in at the three spot. That's the five to begin the second half for Monty Williams. Ayton trying to break free. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got his first basket of the night. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And you talk about a big time play. He simply would not be denied on that drive. LeBron does it to Reeves. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Reeves has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Booker outside. Aiton against Davis. Now here's Aiton. He's guarded close. Ball with the three. Reeves with the rebound. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, you don't have to be quick. You just have to be deliberate. Vanderbilt the pass to James. Here's Reeves for the lead. No good that time. It's all tied in Phoenix. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Here's Schroeder. So for the Lakers right now, Dennis Schroeder is out there with Beasley. Then it's Rui Hachimura. Then it's Bamba. And it's Walker in at the three. Beasley outside. Trying to find Hachimura. Gets it to him. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Rod is on the line here. Crowd is so focused. Inside, Aiton. The shot, no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. Beasley against Ross. Beasley gets to Walker. Hachimura with it to the paint. Six on the shot clock. It falls! And, and he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Paul dishes to Booker. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you, you have to do that. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. The second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a... And the Los Angeles Lakers will move on. You know they had to battle through that very tough Western Conference, but they were able to survive the test and earn a trip to the finals. From day one, this was their goal. Make it to the finals. But really, this is just the beginning for them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, you know, they'll take a moment to, to kind of bask in victory here, but, but it won't be a long one. They know they've got a very tough opponent coming for them out of the East, and, and they're going to get straight to business in terms of prep. 
for the finals. Still, they get to celebrate tonight, and they've earned it as champions of the West. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.